learn how to install Kurzweil Read the Web Chrome app on your computer. The use of this app allows you to hear anything that's open in the Chrome browser. For example, you can hear your emails, you can listen to a paper that you've written and edit while you're listening to it, you can listen to different websites. And once you install it, all you then need is your username and password to be able to activate it. So let me take you through the steps on how to install it. First thing is you open up the Chrome browser. Then you go over here to the left side and you'll see apps. Click on the apps store. From here, you're going to go to web store. So click on web store search the store option. So I'm in here, I'm going to type in Kurzweil, K-U-R-Z-W-E-I-L 3000. And if you notice, it already came up. So now I'm going to press enter. And then I get this extension option, which is Kurzweil Read the Web. So I'm going to go over here to the right side and add to Chrome. And then it just makes sure I want to do this and I say add extension. and it is in there. Now if you notice, this is over here on my top right corner of my Chrome browser is this icon. This is the Kurzweil icon and it's got a red line through it because it's not turned on yet. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to another page and I'm going to say I'll put in uh, the New York Times. and then enter. Okay, so now if you notice, my button is no longer colored and with a line through it, now it's black and white. So that means it's there, but it's not turned on. So if I want to turn it on, I click on it, and then I get this window, and I have to add my username, Skaden, and my password. and then I log in. And then once I've logged in, here is my reading toolbar. So I can use this with, as I mentioned before, any email through the browser, so all the Google Docs, any website I go to, and also a paper if I've saved it in Google Docs. If my paper is saved in, say, Microsoft Word, it won't work because I'm not on the cloud. This has to be in the cloud. Okay, so I'm going to open up New York Times, for example. Put the cursor right here where I want to start. I get this green cursor with a red dot at the top. I call it like a green lollipop. And then I just press read. London, Prime Minister Theresa May on Tuesday suffered a humiliating defeat over her plan to withdraw Britain from the European Union thrusting the country further into political chaos with only 10 weeks to go until it is scheduled to leave the block. Okay, stop. So I can go ahead and listen to it. I could also customize it if I go over here to the gear. And this is where I can change how I want, how fast I want it to read, what voice I want, all that kind of stuff. Okay, if I don't want to see this open because it's bothering me, all I have to do is click on this arrow at the bottom and it will close it. Let's say I still don't want this because I don't want to have this in my line of vision. I can just click on the icon and it hides it. And now you notice it's grayed out again. And then to open it, I just click on it again. And then it will open it up again. Okay? So that's how you use it. You can install this on any computer you want. There's no limit to it. The only limitation is that you have to have the username and the password to activate it. Good.